So how do you become strong, immovable, steadfast, overcome the world? I'm going to give you some practical keys right now. We've been talking big. I'm going to, now we're going to take it to your life. Number one, take time every day of your life to be in the presence of God. This is not nice. It's not an extra thing. It's not an option. It's crucial for your life in God now. It was always crucial. It's even more now. A ship that is anchored has to be in contact with the ocean floor. A life that is anchored has to be in contact with God. Not just that you talk about him, you hear about him, you're in contact with him. Paul was in the presence. Every day, get alone with God. Make it as important as eating your bread that I am with God. I need that. Every day, cut, that's what cuts through that water, the, the waves, it cuts through. You put the problems away, you put that, and you get right to heaven. Number two, take time every day to be in the Word of God. This is a rock. This is a rock. You go through the ocean floor, you hit this. You hit this. Set down your anchor. That means you take this, the pure word, whatever you're dealing with, you take it to the Word. Whatever you're dealing with, you take the Word to it. Let the Word connect, not just in your mind, but to your life and to your heart, to your emotions, to your real, where you're really living. You get it, get connected to the Word of God every day. Number three, and this might, this is like a deeper than what I said. It goes with everything else, but it's a little bit more about what to do. You specifically learn how to anchor your heart and mind to God. How? David does it. You actually see him doing it. David in the Psalms, you're reading it, he says, he says, the Lord is my rock. He's my rock. What's he saying? He's saying, I depend on him. I am fixed to him. I am joined to him. Not to this, not to that. I am joining myself again to him. He's my rock. The Lord, not the world, the Lord's my rock. The Lord is my light, I look to him. The Lord is my refuge, I run to him. The Lord's my hope, my salvation. He does that. He, that's, he's anchoring everything. And you gotta, don't just do it once. You do it every day. Because if you don't, you start getting that anchor back into the world. I'm anchoring myself again. Lord, you are my everything. You are my delight, my joy. You're my steadfast. You're my everything. So no matter what happens, I'm okay because I'm with you. Amen. You de-anchor from the world. That's what, Paul, that's, that's what David does here. He says, some trust in princes. Some trust in chariots, horses. Not me. I trusted the Lord my God. So I'm not trusting in the kings and stock markets and money and Hollywood and media. I'm not trusting in that and people. I am de-anchoring from that and I, I will bless them. I will minister to them. But I am, I am anchored on the Lord my God. My help comes from the Lord. Not from this. I'm not looking there. My help comes from the Lord, not from the government. My help comes from the, whom shall I fear? No one. He's cutting through it all. Anchor your, anchor your joy. Say, Lord, my joy is you. It's not that they can, no, they can take away this, they can take away that, but my joy is you. My reward is you, God. My hope, my trust is you. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.